your life isn't good right now, if uh, any area of your life for that matter isn't good, you need to solve it ASAP. And the reason for that is because the more low you are on the scale of success in any area of your life, the quicker and lower you tend to sink. There's a very low level that you have to be at where you start to sink. So think of something like uh, fitness, for example. You can have a normal body, you know, not be fat, not be thin, just kind of be you and everything is really okay. So nothing is wrong. And so you don't have any tendency to go up or down. Now, if you say want to start, um, you know, working out, getting fit, looking better, it wouldn't be that hard for you. You just, you know, go to the gym basically. But what happens when uh, you start to lose weight a bit, you go down below the level of neutral and then you start to kind of see a bit of a gut and you're like, you get these pain signals where it's like, oh, like emotional pain, where it's like, okay, this is not good. Uh, but then you kind of let it go and you don't really notice it. What will happen is you're going to continually uh, start the, the downward momentum and then the harder, uh, the lower you go down, the harder it's going to be to pull yourself back up, uh, both because the negative momentum is going down. It's always easier to go down than to go up because to go down, uh, you just need gravity. You just need to not do anything. Uh, you know, the natural, um, the natural destination of life is death, you know, it's dying. So you're always on the down spiral if you're neutral. Uh, but then you can also build momentum up. That's so great that it will actually last for a while before you keep going down, even if you stop pushing up. So it's the hardest part is just getting out of that um, negative to neutral part. Uh, for, if you're fat, then the hardest part would be getting to neutral. And from there on, you've built such momentum up that uh, you're basically going to shoot up. Imagine it's like uh, it's like you're uh, you're a rocket. Just you know, uh, this isn't a physically accurate example, but just imagine you're a rocket and you're trying to get out of Earth's atmosphere, and there's so much resistance. And then once you actually get out of the uh, atmosphere, then there's no more forces pushing you down. So now you just continually go up with the same momentum that you've built up. So you actually shoot up at that point. So again, this works uh, in all areas of your life. So just really consider what areas of your life aren't working right now. If it's uh, fitness, health, relationships, and ask yourself, am I in the neutral part where it's okay, it's not too good, it's not too bad? Am I starting to go down or am I deep down? And if you are, you have to take quick action to get yourself up because the more you wait, the harder it will be. Now, regarding the forces that actually stop somebody from um, getting out of that negative place, I have really, really good news for you. The main thing that's actually stopping you if you're in that space or somebody that you love, for example, from going up uh, isn't so much that you're down it's more the lack of ability to take initiative. So any area of life that you sort of gave up on, you're going to have a very, very hard time to take initiative in because you, you're in the habit, you've built up the habit of not taking action in that area. Um, but all you need to do to really get yourself out of that situation, it doesn't matter how bad your health is, or how bad your finances are, or relationship, like it doesn't matter how fucked up everything is. So long as you take even one very um, specific daily action that's geared towards creating growth in that area, eventually, if you're uh, strict and consistent about it, it will create that change. So you can take somebody who's in the worst fitness possible, who's extremely overweight, um, 
you know, he's apathetic, feels like shit. If you just get that person to do one physical activity every single day for about a month or two, he'll already develop a habit that will force the growth to stop. So by um, taking one good habit and doing it every day, it's as if you're creating some sort of an anti-gravity where the forces that are pulling you down are putting, getting breaks because uh, forces are pushing up now. And whenever th- forces are pushing down, it's only because of a lack of effort. So as long as you take any sort of physical exercise daily, there's absolutely no reason that your fitness level will go down. As long as you uh, work towards improving your income every day, there's no reason your income will go down. And I'm not saying it, co- it couldn't dip for a moment. I'm saying there's no reason it will start to, to dip, to go down continuously. So just by taking one action every day that improves your life, you actually force the up cycle and then gradually the down cycle would slow down, stop, and then turn into an up cycle. Because all it takes for gravity to work is for uh, nothing to push up. But if something is pushing up, for example, if you jump right now, you're going to move up. So it doesn't take too much to beat gravity, but it does take consistency because once you stop, then gravity kicks back and you lose momentum and you drop. But luckily for us, Habits, and sometimes unluckily, uh, habits work both ways. And when you have good habits, it's just as easy, if not easier, to take a lot of good action than it is to uh, kind of be a lazy ass and, and, you know, have everything go to shit. It's easier because it actually, it, it feels like the same amount of effort, but you actually get really good rewards. Uh, worse when you or just in the negative down spiral, you just feel like shit most of the time. So I hope this video helps you. Uh, Let me know if you have any questions and please subscribe if you haven't already.